Here is a study that will really, really drive home the relationship between rheumatoid arthritis activity and leaky gut or intestinal permeability. This is a study from 2021, so it's not too long ago, and it has a powerful title. It is Intestinal Barrier Dysfunction plays an integral role in arthritis pathology and can be targeted to ameliorate disease. In other words, leaky gut is crucial to rheumatoid arthritis as a cause and can be a therapeutic target for drugs to get rid of the condition. So it's pretty, pretty powerful kind of opening statement here. And the findings are amazing. So what they did in this study is they looked at rheumatoid arthritis patients and they investigated actual human beings with RA, but they also took a uh, experimental path with mice as well and then compared what they were finding with the mice, what they were finding with the uh, rheumatoid arthritis patients, and then developing some conclusions around that. And the results are phenomenal, which is why I want to share it with you. This is what they found. First of all, they found that rheumatoid arthritis patients display an increased levels of serum markers of gut permeability. Okay, that serum means blood, of course. So they've got more activity of gut permeability in the blood. And they can measure this by looking for things like lipopolysaccharides, which are the particles inside the cell membranes of certain types of gut bacteria. So when they leak into the bloodstream, they can measure that inside the bloodstream and say, okay, there's a certain degree of translocating or or stuff that's moving into the bloodstream and then uh, find out how much of that stuff's in the blood. And the damage and cellular gut homing markers, both parameters positively correlating with disease activity or severity. So what this means is that the more leaky gut, the more disease activity, the higher C-reactive protein. So if you've got low leaky gut, low disease activity more leaky gut, more disease activity. So it's super, super clear. Then they go on to talk about the mice. The arthritic mice, which they've induced with arthritis, display increased gut permeability from the earlier stages of disease, as well as bacterial translocation okay, into the bloodstream, inflammatory gut damage, the inflammation plus the presence of dysbiosis creates the leaky gut and an increase in these inflammatory markers, okay, and leukocytes, which are the white blood cells, and reduced intestinal expression of interleukin 10R. So talking about uh, the ability to repair the leaky gut. Then mechanistically, both arthritogenic bacteria and leukocytes are required to disrupt gut barrier integrity. This is really interesting What this means is that you not only need the sort of pathogenic bacteria in the microbiome to create leaky gut, but you also need an immune response or the leukocytes, the white blood cells, which are responding to inflammation. So to have the leaky gut, what they found is that you need not just dysbiosis or a messed up microbiome, but also need inflammation. And the two of them then combine to create the intestinal permeability from which you then get the uh, immune stimulating particles and bacteria entering into the bloodstream. All right. So they go on to say that the treatment of mice with AT1001, a molecule that prevents development of gut permeability, ameliorates arthritis. So they were able to get rid of the gut permeability and consequently the arthritis in the mice with this AT1001. Now, what is that? Well, I went and researched that because I hadn't seen that before and it isn't available to the public. It is in a second phase clinical trial at the moment for the development of a pharmaceutical so that it can be used for celiac patients. And the clinical trials are showing positive results at helping to reduce intestinal permeability and uh, looking like it might come to market as a drug with the potential, uh, as referenced in the article I'm, I'm on now, that it may end up in the sphere of rheumatology as well because of the relationship between rheumatoid arthritis activity 
and gut leakiness. And so given that this study showed that in the mouse model, they were able to reverse leaky gut and arthritis activity, it's really exciting. And uh, uh, I know I know places where you can source AT1001 um, for research purposes, but again, it's not it's not being sold to the public. So um, let's watch this space. And so in conclusion, this study says, we suggest the breakdown of gut barrier integrity contributes to arthritis development. And we propose the restoration of gut barrier homeostasis as a new therapeutic approach for rheumatoid arthritis. Hallelujah. Okay, so we've been doing that for many years inside the Patterson program, which we now uh, refer to as Rheumatoid Solutions. And you can head over and begin doing this right now using natural methods. Hope you enjoyed this video. See you again soon.